Once upon a time, I took leave to stay at home. Traveling with three kids is not a vacation. Taking a break in that context means breaking my bone, breaking my bank, and breaking my body. I'm an ophthalmology based in Kuching and a mother of three. The best part of staying at home happens after I wave them goodbye. Bye bye. So when I take the precious leave to stay at home, I am actually loving myself. This is what I like to do on my day off. I make the bed like a normal human being, everyone except my husband. Hmm. My me time starts right at breakfast. Nutritious breakfast for my precious body. I listen to some self-love song. Who says? Who says you're not perfect? By Selena Gomez as I start my day. Well, it is not always like that. Growing up in Malaysia, I grew up in an environment that cohesively asking me to put everyone above me. There are certain expectations, be it parental, cultural or societal expectations to fit into shoes that I do not want to wear. For the longest time, I conform to their expectation of me to behave, dress and act in a certain way that is defined as socially acceptable. Study hard, get straight A's, be a doctor, and don't laugh like that, don't talk like that, don't wear that, don't do this, don't do that. It was a confusing period for a very curious teenager that I was. And it took me a long time to know myself, to accept myself for who I really am, and to love myself for the way that I am engineered. After I list now my daily to-do list, I fire up my beautiful sleek MacBook Pro to do some productive work. I once again try to stretch my mortal limit as a human in my attempt to being a productive ninja mom. Today, I am practicing my typing. <laughs> yes, for real. Self-love is doing something that you enjoy, even if it is as nerdy as practice typing. An average professional typist types at 50 to 80 words per minute and I'm well about 78 words per minute. I just love the sound of typing. And I also just realized that I don't use my little finger for typing. Sometimes you may have to do the things that you may not enjoy doing so much, but deep down you know it's good for you. So somehow I managed to negotiate myself into changing into my running gears to having my morning run. Even if I hate it now, I know it will reap the reward, not now but later. So I hope later comes sooner but oh well, the run eventually turns into a walk run, then a walk. <laughs> because I can't feel my legs after that. I thank the weather as it threatens to rain, so I quickly decided to call it a day. I do not like to run or do any sorts of exercise, but thanks to aging and my retarded metabolism, well, I have to. Plus, it is good for your health, even if you become breathless, try not to faint as you catch your breath. By noon, I have already showered, changed back to my previous clothes because I hate doing unnecessary laundry and drink a ton of water because watering yourself is loving yourself. I listen to the same song, who says, as I edit my blog, that no one else really read. <laughs> because, well, who says you can't start potential, who say you can't be the best, who says, so tell me who said that. And somehow the lyrics water my mind too. As much as I like to continue to work like an engine, I find myself scrambling through my pantry to look for food. I am quite hungry after the morning breathless run. I believe that I have burned sufficient calories, so I am making my comfort food, Maggi curry. In order to trick my mind, I add some cabbages and an egg to make it healthier. Well, as long as my mind is deceived. <laughs> In any rainy days, I love to eat hot Maggi. I pour myself an iced kombucha green tea for some meaningful intentional detoxifying consequences in the toilet later. I then take out my fogging glasses and slurp my noodles as you're supposed to. I also realize that I have an ugly eating face. I have also overeat my calorie quotas for the day with this leftover salted egg Korean fried chicken but today I'm treating myself with food. After my greedy mind deceiving lunch, I bring my meaningful intentional detoxifying consequences kombucha green tea to my table for some serious work. 
writing the birth of this script for this vlog which then I began to wonder what is self-love and how to love oneself. Creating these videos and vlogs satisfies my creative outlet and feeds my happiness. I immediately feel so fulfilled today. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You can just comfortably be yourself and your confidence will shine through. Enjoying doing the things that you are passionate about is the epitome of self-love. I think self-love is so important. If you don't love yourself, hmm, you can't love anyone else. But well, don't get me wrong, I love my children and my husband abundantly. But above all, I love and respect myself. When I have the chance to leave Malaysia and live in Moscow, Russia, it not only geographically put me in a different place, it also broadens my view, my horizon, my thinking and opens up my tempurung world to a whole new world. I miss Moscow life and I miss my Moscow friends. There are times when people queried our ability when we first came back and I'm proud to say that now, many of us have proven them wrong. Going abroad to study and living there, growing up there with these friends is the best thing that could have happened to me. I found myself, I found my best friends and I even found my husband there. So thank you Moscow. I discovered myself that you can be both smart and have body piercing and that wouldn't make you any less smarter. You can wear a mini skirt and still be respected because what you wear doesn't define you. You can be strong and be weak and vulnerable at the same time. You can like books, be a nerd, and you can like fashion and be a rainbow fashionista and it is all beautiful. You can be all of the above, everything and anything that you want to be. Because who says you're not worth it? Who says? As a mother, it is our job to provide and to give. It is easy to forget about ourselves, but it is so important for the health and the well-being of a family to have a happy mom at home. A happy home starts from within and it starts from you. What do doctors do when they are on leave? Well, they sit by the window, watch the world goes by and laugh at the suckers that have to go to work. <laughs> so when the kids come back home and destroy this clean century that you've made for yourself, you are prepared because you are armed with adequate self-love. You can propel the love outwards to them. You can teach your kids to be self-adequate, to love themselves wholly and truly because they deserve better. It is easy to love when you have so much love to give when you are happy from within. Putting myself first, watering my soul and my passion is loving myself. You can reap the benefits so much more in the long run. So, I intentionally set aside a week every month for self-pampering to love myself and to decompress. I can't create my destiny if I don't completely love myself, accept all my strengths and accept all my weaknesses, my flaws. After our family dinner, I showered and find a quiet place to spend time with myself. I set aside time to continue to feed to my curiosity, aka stalking other people on social media. Or sometimes I will do something productive like reading some academic work in the evening before I hug my kids and start their night routine. This is a full day of my self-love day. How are you loving yourself? Thank you for watching.